Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the It's My Hair Tag, which is a set of questions that I got from a blog post that is titled MyClearLady.com. I'm going to leave a link to the blog post in the description box that is located under this video. So just scroll down if you want a link to that and then maybe you could answer the questions yourselves or um, just follow along as I ask and answer these questions. So the first question is, why did you start your hair journey? And I feel like I didn't start my hair journey. It happened to me by virtue of being born with 4C hair. I was forced to always be on a quest to tame my hair and keep it in a reasonably maintained form. But then I'm quite sure that the question actually relates to when I actively started taking care of my hair and embarked on what I call the natural leg of my hair journey. So the reason why I started that was because relaxers used to burn me a lot and I was just tired of always being in pain on a hair day. And then the other reason is that I've got eczema so my scalp flakes a lot and I saw that the more I used oils and water and conditioner and leave-in conditioners on my hair the less my scalp flaked. How long have you been on your hair journey? My last relaxer was in November of 2015. Okay, so I've kind of touched on question 3, but then it says, are you natural, relaxed, or transitioning? And my answer to that is, I am a very large percent natural. There was a time when I had to do a part in my hair for a weave, and then I, I got a section relaxed somewhere here. But then the rest of my hair is natural now. Question 4. What's your length right now? I would say that my hair is um, shoulder length, borderline just below shoulder length. So the shrinkage is absolutely real. And um, I did a twist out today, so that's why my hair looks so shrunken and scrunched up. But this is my actual length, which is about shoulder length I would say that's how far it goes in the front what is your goal length well mine has always been waist length whether I was relaxed or I'm natural now my goal has remained the same I want waist length hair number six what is your hair texture mine is 4c I'd like to believe health or length um I actually don't know why we have to choose one because I definitely need both to survive, but I would have to say health, although length is really, you know, where the heart is. If you could only live with one hair product, what would it be? Hmm, that's a tough one. So I think I'm gonna cheat on this one because technically water isn't a hair product, but I would still use it on my hair. And olive oil is, you know, a cooking product. So I would still use that in my hair. And then the actual hair product that I wouldn't be able to live without is the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner. Question number nine, what's the worst product you've ever used? Well, I've had several, to be quite honest. It's most of these oils that are blended with a lot of perfumes and whatnot. My problem with those ones is that after a day of having my hair smell all nice and wonderful, day two, begins to smell like something rotten or like something died in my hair or something so i definitely dislike all hair products that that have got too many fragrances in them what is your go-to hairstyle for me it's definitely a wig but whenever i'm not rocking my wig it's always a twist out of some sort like the one i'm rocking right now i just try to vary the way i style it so that there's a bit of flavor and a bit of variation from day to day. Are you a product junkie? I would say that I used to be a product junkie, but that has changed. Although it's not completely gone, it's a lot better now. Ever since I moved to Zim, I found that it's really expensive to keep jumping from product to product and sometimes you cannot try out all the products that you would love to try out because they're simply not available in store. So that's helped keep me under control for a bit. And it's also helped me to really identify the products that work for me and to 
kind of stick with those. How often do you trim your hair? For me, that's about twice a year, sometimes once a year. It depends on how many times I get my hair straightened in that particular year. Number 13, how often do you use heat? This question is linked to the previous one because my answer is the same. I get my hair straightened about twice a year at most and I never blow dry my hair. Well, except this one time this year when I did that because my hair simply would not cooperate with me. Do you take hair supplements? Nope. Favorite oil? Jamaican black castor oil. Hands down. Who is your hair crush? Wow. I've got so many, hey? Um, Gamu's my natural hair crush for her length and health. My mom's my other hair crush because no matter what happens to her hair, it always bounces back real strong and long and beautiful and so thick and her hairline is to die for. Like, nothing ever happens to that. It's solid gold. I don't really have an internet hair crush as yet. How long does it take you on a wash day? I would say about two hours max, but then if I'm doing cornrows for my wig, that's another hour in addition to the two hours of washing my hair. But if we're to include the pre-poo, then it would definitely take me a day, because I like to pre-poo the night before and then wash my hair the day after. What's the worst thing that has happened to your hair? For me, it has to be when I got my hair cut in my final year of high school, and that was because I had an eczema attack or outbreak i don't know what to call it but then like i had a really dry scalp and my hair was flaking and falling out anyway so it only made sense for it to be cut and it was cut completely short like let's go on and look like a boy kind of short next question do you dye your hair and what color well, i used to dye my hair before i went natural but ever since i went natural i haven't actually put dye on my hair and I'm not sure that I will, but I will not say never, ever again, because I once said I would never go natural, and here I am. <laughs> okay, final question. Who do you tag? I don't really have YouTube friends, so I can't possibly tag them. So I'm going to tag you guys who are watching, just to maybe answer one or two relevant or interesting questions in the comment section below. And that's it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next week if you haven't subscribed please do and hit the notification button so that you get notified every time i put up a video